When we're talking about herbicides, there's two main categories that you want to be aware of. There's post-emergence, which are herbicides that are applied after the weeds have already emerged out of the ground and are actively growing. And there's pre-emergence. And those are herbicides that you apply to the ground prior to the seeds germinating and before they've emerged. Now, glyphosate is a post-emergent, and so it's going to take care of our weeds that are actively growing in our dormant Bermuda here. But we want to think about those weed seeds that are soon going to be sprouting this spring. And in order to get a head start on that, we're going to need to apply a pre-emergent. Pre-emergents can come in two forms. You can either get a liquid or a granular form, and whichever one you choose to use, you want to make sure that you water in your landscape after you've applied it. A lot of times gardeners will look at the forecast and make sure that they time their application right before a rainfall so that they know that that pre-emergent is watered into the ground. Now, watering the pre-emergent is a big difference than our post-emergent. You don't want to water your post-emergence because you want that chemical to sit on those leaves as that's how the plant absorbs it. With pre-emergence, it's critical to water it in because you want that chemical to get down to the soil profile. This is where those weed seeds will germinate and as soon as they do, they'll come into contact with that chemical which will then kill them before you even really notice them growing. In Oklahoma, there's two main windows you want to be concerned with to treat your spring weeds. For the southern half of the state, you want to apply your pre-emergent from January 1st through mid-February. For the northern half of the state, you have until about March 1st to get that pre-emergent out. Obviously, in the northern half of the state, it stays a little bit colder, so you won't have that germination happening as quickly as you would in the southern half of the state. Now sometimes a second application is necessary for season-long protection. It kind of depends on which pre-emergent you decide to use and also the environmental conditions of that season. Most pre-emergents, however, remain effective for 60 to 110 days. Now an important thing to keep in mind, if you plan on overseeding your lawn in the fall, you want to make sure that you don't put any pre-emergents down on your lawn after July 1st. The point of a pre-emergent is to keep a seed from germinating. So if you're putting down lawn seed, it's going to prevent that seed from growing. Here at the Botanic Gardens at Oklahoma State University, we put down a fall pre-emergent. Here you can see in this grass, the treated area, how well it's protected from our winter weeds. We used a product called Prodiamine and it does kill both broadleaf and grassy weed seeds as they start to germinate. So the product that we didn't use all this fall will be able to use this spring as well. I'm standing in an area here where we didn't treat it and you can see the number of weeds that have come up in this untreated area. Now at this point, pre-emergence not gonna do anything for this weeds. We're gonna have to either spray it with a post-emergent or as these weeds continue to grow, it's gonna result in us needing to mow this lawn space way before the grass needs mowing. For more information on pre-emergence, contact your local county OSU Extension office. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.